Hello, my old school soul food family. It's TGIF fifth segment of the week, y'all. Happy Friday. It's gonna be Friday. And I'm still frying fish, y'all. But I'm gonna show y'all something I've been using for years, not in my house, but where I used to work. It is a staple. It's golden dip. You can find these in the actual stores. You know, in the store, it's little boxes. But in the food industry, they got about 15 different types of golden, uh, golden dip. My favorite one is the uh, funnel cake. They make a funnel cake mix. Y'all know I'm not into mixes and stuff like this, but this company has been around since 1938. This is not a promotional video. This is something I'm going to show y'all because I absolutely love because they come out with a new product the last couple of months. They got a fish fry out now. And that's why I'm going to show y'all to see, I never used it before. So I went and got this. Of course, I can get this in bulk at a certain store that most people can't get. They have no access to it. But uh, you might can find it in the, in the in the supermarket. If not, I, I bet you can go online and get it, a golden dip. But you, I know you've seen that over here in the, in, the, in the section where they sell all the breadings. This company has been around for years. Another thing I like that they make, y'all know I make good hush puppies. They make the best hush puppies I ever made, ever tasted. All you do is add water, let it sit about 15, 20 minutes, fry it in the fryer or the skillet. I add a little sugar to mine, a little like teaspoon of sugar to mine to bring it a little. If, if you like onions, it's absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, what I need to do first, I need to get the hush puppy mix made first because this needs to kind of set up for like about 10, 15 minutes. It's got to kind of come to a certain level. And they'll tell you that on the on the bag. But I'm telling y'all, these hush puppies, when I see them, sometimes they're at the food show, I bet I eat a hundred of them in that day. They that good. I love them. So like I say, it's just add water to both of these items. And like I say, I like to add a little, just a little sugar to mine. And all I'm going to do, y'all, Add some cold water to it. Okay, too much water, y'all. And you can have to, when you add the water to this, y'all, you can just smell the onions. And you see, when you add the water to this, you can see, you probably can't see on the camera. But it just totally just activate this. And what it needs to do, it needs to set up for like 10, 15 minutes. This this stuff is just going, I don't know what's in it, what they do. Y'all know I'm not about bad mixes and, and, and stuff like that. You know, I hate cake mixes at all costs. Cool. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to let this set up for 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to get my deep fryer. I got to get it up to temperature. By the time I deep fry, I come to temperature, 350 degrees, I'm going to fry the hush puppies off first, get it fried up. Y'all know how I am. I like to do the hush puppies first, where well, I can eat on them while I fry the fish. And uh, then we come back, and we're going to try this out. All this is just like any other breading uh, mix. You have the fish wet, which is wet from the water. I washed it. And you just dust this in there, fry it off. I'm actually going to season this fish. Because this is unseasoned. It don't have no seasoning in it. And Lordy would say season. So I'm going to season the fish with a little salt and pepper, a little, uh, you know, my cavernous grease seasoning. And that's it. And uh, we're going to fry it off. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. And see how the hush puppy is set up? It's been set up by 20 minutes. All I'm going to do, you can see how it's really firmed up. And I'm going to do a few of these, y'all. Right here in the fryer. If you're cooking these at home, of course, if you have any, you're cooking at 375 degrees, hush puppies need to be really, really. I already stick my uh, scoop in the fryer in the oil and help the hush puppies just pop right out, y'all. Mm -hmm. Get these going and then we'll come back. I'm going to put these on the wire rack. We'll come back and we'll. In fact, before we come back, I'm going to season the fish up and let it be kind of seasoned up a little. And then, there we go, y'all. Now, I'm going to season this fish up and grab my bowl here. I 
got my catfish right here. And I'm gonna season it up, y'all, and let it be kind of. All I got in here is some cabinets and some salt and pepper, y'all. That's it. Put it all in there, mix it up in there. Really, really good. And then when I come back, we're gonna, when the hutch puppet is ready, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna bread this catfish up and see how it is. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I got the hush puppies here ready. See that? Nice and golden brown there. Now, we're gonna get the fish going. I put the fish in a little Ziploc bag, a uh, fish, uh, uh, fry in the bag. And all I'm gonna do, y'all, just like any other fish fry, we're gonna let the water from the fish, the liquor from the fish, I mean, you can use, uh, if you want to, you can use milk and egg if you want, but it's not necessary, y'all. Put this in here, dust it off. Like I said, it's the first time ever using this one, y'all, so we're gonna see how it come out. Another one in there. Right, we got enough room to put all of them in the fryer, y'all. Come on in the fryer. Make sure you fry 350 degrees. Thing. I go when I do fry stuff, especially fish, I go 375 because you know what's gonna happen. Once you put the fish in there, the temperature of the oil gonna go down. So that's to kind of compensate for that oil going down on you. Like I say, golden dip, they make awesome products. Like I said, they've been around for years, y'all. Way before me. Way before my mama. My mama was born in 1945, so they've been around since 1938. So they've been around a while. So anyway, y'all, we're going to step off here and get this frying. When we come back, we're going to eat, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, see this? There we go. That's the breading mix right there, y'all. Only thing I don't like, it could be the fish itself. It didn't stick on certain parts of the fish. But catfish is that type of fish. They have a slick side to it. And the bread and won't stick on it. That's what's bringing about catfish. This snapper, redfish, flounder, any kind of other fish, it'll, it'll stick a little bit better. So anyway, y'all, let me taste this here. I know my corn, these, uh, let me show y'all these onion hush puppies. And thing about this, it got chopped onions up in it. You can see the little black specks. That's the little onions they got mixed in the batter. I'm going to tell y'all, if you like onions in your hush puppies, you like the onion flavor, this is it. Mm -hmm. Let me try the fish here. I got tartar sauce today, y'all. I ain't got no ketchup. You gotta do ketchup. But we're gonna do tartar sauce today. Let me show you the catfish. Oh, it's still steaming. See that? Try the flavor. See that seasoning too much. Mm -mm. Mm. Not bad. Really good. It's hot. Mm. I'm dealing with one. I didn't taste it. I ain't got no hint. I don't know if you want to tartar sauce with it. Nah, I like tartar sauce. <laughs> Let me try one more piece here, y'all, before I close this video out. And dealing a piece, you don't eat tartar sauce. I'm gonna eat ketchup. That's how I grew up on ketchup too. I'm gonna have tartar sauce in the house. Mm. That's it, y'all. Hold on here. So it's Mother's Day weekend. It's the best way to start your weekend off. I'm proud y'all, y'all. Really celebrate Mother's Day with some fried catfish. I did it before, let me get the bag again to show y'all. This shit right here, the fish uh, fried meal. But like I say, uh, maybe you can get it on Amazon. They probably don't have this in the store. They do have tempura batter, which is, which, which let me say, that's the best tempura batter you can buy, is golden dip. That's what we used to use on my job for years. It's the best foolproof tempura batter. Like I said, I don't promote a lot of box or mixes, 
unless I absolutely believe in them, this stuff is awesome. So anyway, y'all, TGI fifth segment of the week. Y'all have a happy, blessed Friday. Mother's Day. Next coming video is gonna be all about Mother's Day. I got a uh, carrot cake y'all been asking for for a crazy long time. That's coming up. And chicken and dumplings, I did it before, but that's my mama's favorite dish. So I'm gonna do it for for Mother's Day. So that's the next two videos. So anyway, y'all, uh, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And the hashtag 2022, happy numbers with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.